Hello, 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 Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to Minecraft SevTech, the, the, the amazing, awesome SevTech mod that I am so excited uh, to be playing with. Um, so, uh, a little, little surprise is that uh, I'm actually coming to you from the future. It's dark and scary and stuff has happened. Um, <laughs> so I had a very productive episode playing SevTech uh, today and uh, I was very excited to share it with you. Got a lot of stuff done. We made, a, we went through a bunch of achievements and I went to, uh, well, went to edit it and discovered that immediately there's a problem with the audio i sound like i'm using one of those uh voice warbler thing the, one of those things you use to try and disguise your voice basically cut out all the high frequencies for those who care i don't know entirely why but the whole audio is kind of blah. it's iffy there's a lot of clicking the, no, i mean not clip but it, well you'll see what's about to happen because i'm still releasing it because <laughs> because i feel like it's important to uh, bring you guys along on this series because I mean, heck, it's it's a progression-based series. We can't just be like, ah, I, I jump ahead and, and stuff happened. I mean, obviously, I do a little bit of building and mining and resource gathering and stuff to try and reduce the amount of grindy stuff that ends up on camera. But yeah, uh, so please, please forgive me. I am working on getting myself uh, set up in a better audio environment, um, but that is kind of predicated on me getting my studio done, so... Uh, continuing to work on that. Go ahead and watch watch that series of stuff if you're interested in that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a heads up. This is not normal and very unacceptable, and I am just as irritated as you are. So with that <laughs> sense of righteous indignation, enjoy this very odd-sounding episode. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and welcome back to Minecraft SevTech. Uh, yeah, um, I'm excited to be playing some more. And oh, look, uh, I built a tower. Um, <laughs> I've, I've been really enjoying this game and I've been trying to slow myself down because I don't want to be putting out crazy amounts of videos every day. I uh, don't want to stop other stuff. And so I'm, I'm trying to slow myself down and I've <laughs> basically been doing some building just to keep myself occupied. Um, but yeah, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today, uh, we are continuing on with our various achievements. Let me, let's run over here and look at the tower real quick. So I have a piece of, uh, what is it? Low grade charcoal in there. Um, just to just to give us a little bit of a beacon, uh, just an area for us, just a way for us. I I tried to distress it. I'm not I'm not a builder. I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but I made an attempt. <laughs> uh, you can see also yes, we have a lot of animals over here as well. Um, so uh, it doesn't look the best, but it does. It vaguely looks like a, okay. I can I can play this game. It vaguely looks like a tower, <laughs> and yeah, we have. Uh, a charcoal surrounded by this, so we have this little brazier, I guess, and then, yeah, we can we can see the the place that will become our home over the next however many episodes this series ends up being. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I've also gathered up uh, a fair amount of livestock, and I've been breeding them up. Uh, chickens are the last acquisition, that's why there's so few of them at the moment, but I also managed to get three more horses in addition to the one that we have on the island. Uh, but we've got sheep and pigs and all of this wonderful stuff. So, uh, without any further ado, let's leap off of here. Um, let me feed these chickens while I'm at it. Um, don't particularly have a need for them right now, but I figured, hey, let's let's try and round things out. It is becoming nighttime already, because I did not pay any attention to when I was starting this stuff. Um, but, yeah, uh, I've been thinking about how exactly I want to proceed, and I, I would like to sort of build um, a little town, I guess, um, as we go along with these... Uh, these achievements and try and find something that really sort of fits the style. Also, uh, I have been reading you guys' comments, and thanks so much for those. Uh, someone suggested, I believe it was Nick, suggested, hey, if you hit F7, you can figure out how lighting, uh, you can get a light map, and the, this indicates, hey, the orange means, or the yellow means, uh, that if it's nighttime, something could spawn there, and red means, uh, no, you're fine. Uh, or, no, red means something could spawn there right now. So, yeah, this island is not anywhere near as well lit up as I thought it was because these torches are absolute garbage. But, <laughs> um, I could sleep. That would probably be a smart thing to do. But what I would... Did I just hear a door? Where would that door... Weird. Oh, no, it's the chest sound. What am I talking about? Okay. Um, rather than sleep in our bedroll, I think it's time for us to build our TP. Okay, so like that. And there we go. We have a TP out of the weather. So this should be, this is not a portable thing, but it also should let us sleep without losing durability. So let's plop that down, I guess, right here. here. Oh, this is not enough space. Okay. We need more space. I think this needs a five by five area. 
let me clear this area out a little bit. It's just not letting me place it down. There we go. Okay, that works. Uh, let's, can I, oh, okay, it's glitchy. But can I sleep now? Oh, okay. So I had to, you have to right click in the center block inside the TP and then it will let you sleep. So, okay, cool. We have now slept in a TP. That's something to check off of our bucket list. And that's great. That means we don't have to worry about durability of sleep mats. I think I've already made a couple of sleeping mats at this point. Um, also was mentioned that, hey, um, this is a totemic mod has some ways to upgrade. Oh man, we've got so much stuff here. Uh, that you can make better torches this way. Uh, you can make uh, totemic torches like this using a lit, uh, lit, yeah, lit totem torch, blah, 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 blah. Um, so if I, for example, plop this down right here, I guess. Oh, look at that. That lights up. That got rid of that whole thing. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing some upgrading of our torches uh, before we, yeah, as we move forward. Okay, but uh, yeah, we've been making progress on the tech tree. I would like to try and knock out as many of these as is feasible in an episode. Um, and some of this is going to require a totemic ceremony. For example, getting our flame grill goodness thing, this requires us to use a totem ceremony to change a sapling into a different type of sapling. We need to create buffaloes using a totemic ceremony. And yeah, so lots of lots of stuff to do here. But to get started on that, we have to craft the rattle, the flute, and the drum that are needed for a totemic ceremony. Bone, 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 and sugar, uh, reed, 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 and jingles, perfect. Then we can use the jingles and, actually we can craft those, we don't need to put those up there. Man, I'm very excited for us to get to an age where we don't need uh, the, to use this crafting bench because it, it gets old very fast, flute. Right, there's flute and then there's pan's flute. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane, and then grass. Bum, 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 bum. And there we go. We have a flute. Okay, so leather up at the top and then planks down the side. The nice. That's a nice design for a drum. The, the recipes do make sense. I'll, I'll give it that. And there we go. Once we pick that up, there we go. Shake, rattle, and roll. So we've made that achievement. And ooh, it looks like there's ooh. Summon the boss Baycock. That's, that's a funny name. Via a totemic ceremony and defeat him to acquire his powerful bow and unlock range combat early. That sounds exciting. Okay. Also, there's, oh yeah, horse-powered stuff. That's why I gathered up a bunch of horses. Also, you get wheels for horse carts. And so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, buffalo provide a valuable resource. Let's see if we can figure out how to do get buffalo. And we do get the totempedia. Let's take a look at this. So, a guide to all your totemic needs. Totemic basics. Melody. The melody is a magical power released from instruments that have been played. Each instrument has a melody threshold, meaning that only a certain amount of melody can be released from one instrument for a specific effect. Okay. Uh, ceremonies. Let's look at that. Rite of Spring Ceremony. That hot link just didn't work. Okay. One of the many ceremonies and fertility ceremony available. After activating all animal nearby animals will sequentially proceed to breed. Okay. Along with that, any nearby saplings will transform into red cedar saplings. Okay, so we can make them all breed. That's nice. <laughs> Let's see. So if I if I plop down, say, like, four of these. Two, three, four. Oop, okay. And then if we use this uh, whittling knife. Okay, there we go. I've made it. We've made this into a, a totem base. And I can... can I, oh, I can, so I can change this to be a different thing. Okay, this... And this. Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, so we have a totem pole now. Um, let's see if we can figure the rest of this out. Let me plop down a drum. And I think it said you can use the flute, or you can right click. Okay, we're playing lovely music. Oh, Symphony of the Depths. No, no. No, something else. That's not what I want to do. No, that this is on me. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a second page here for actually doing the selection. You do the flute, and then you do the drum. Okay, we'll we'll try this. Let's let this one time out. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so flute and then drum. All right. Okay. Uh. Yes. Okay. We did it. Did It didn't it didn't work. Okay. That time seems to have worked. Now we have Okay. So maybe being right next to the totem. So they need to be planted, I guess at least one block away from the totem, maybe, or we just didn't do it well enough the first time. Ah, we finally have some red cedar saplings. Can we 
let me, should we bone meal these? Or should we, I guess we could just leave them. Okay, apparently if you break the totem, uh, you don't, you don't get it back. So we'll have to build another totem with some more, but, and I think from what I was reading, you can stack them, you can have six effects at any point in time. So we'll go ahead and grab a bunch of stuff. Let me clear out my inventory and then we'll head over toward by the animals and see if we can make ourselves some buffalo. I think I want to set this up like right about here. Uh, yeah, because I don't want if I think it converts the cows to buffalo and I don't want it to convert all of them I mean, it's not the end of the world if it does we can go ahead and do more stuff But okay, uh, so I can toggle what this is going to do what this will whittle the thing to Totem base, that's what I want there and then I can basically choose a bunch of effects. So if we look at Yeah, totems and effects uh, totem effects back negates fall damage. Ooh, Hang on a second. I think there's one that lets it, yeah, mining faster, not particularly interested in that. Enderman gives us night vision. Horse gives us a speed boost. Ocelots prevents creepers from exploding. That sounds great. Um, pig brings you good luck. Not sure about that. Okay. Rabbit gives you a jump boost and, ooh, spider lets us climb walls. That could, the, uh, rabbit, that could actually be really helpful because there's not an easy way for us to get in and out of there. So yeah, let's go through, select some of these. Okay, so we're gonna go with Ocelot for one. Oh, oh, that's that's pretty. Okay, cool. So that should mean the creepers in this area, well, probably not the whole area, but nearby aren't going to explode. Um, the rabbit is the jump boost. And there we go, jump boost. And I think if we can do multiple, is this, is this gonna let me? Yes, awesome, okay. <laughs> okay, that's really cool, but I guess I'm out of the area of effect now. Yeah, that's, okay, that's less cool. Come on. No! All right, fine, fine, fine. Take my way out the, the hard way. Yeah, I guess we'll leave, we'll, we'll figure out the other ones. I want to try this buffalo ceremony um, to get ourselves some buffalo ceremonies. Buffalo dance. Uh, beast use throw, blah, 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 blah. Now all hope's lost. Uh, yeah, give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes, although weaker kind than once were native. So, oh, okay, so we actually need a wind chime for this. Uh, okay. All right, so this was a complex recipe because I had managed to get rid of all of my flint. But now we have wind chimes and we should be able to use those as a ceremony selector too. So the drums and the wind chimes. And now. Oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> we have some buffalo in there! <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm definitely have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to sort that pen. Uh, but we have converted some cow into buffalo. Awesome! I guess let's... Let me see here. And, oh yeah, and I do have that jump boost, which is really handy. Um, I guess I'll, I'll have to move this one. Okay, you know what? <laughs> trying to trying to sort these two is a nightmare. Let me just try to do the ceremony again, maybe. No, <laughs> just barely not enough. Ugh. This is this is tough. I'm because I, I can't. I wish that there was some sort of cooldown you could easily see, uh, but oh well. Um, yeah, you have to switch back and forth because I think not everything can produce as much as you necessarily want. But okay, try again. Um, no! All right, there we go. Now we have two buffalo in here. I can expand that pen. <laughs> um, and I'm curious as to, I don't know if these, are these full buffalo? They do take, I think they are. No, maybe not. Uh, I think these may be actually our baby buffalo, and that they may they may grow into larger buffalo. <laughs> uh, but it looks like to get this achievement, we need to collect their hide and teeth. So we'll need to wait a little bit for that to happen. As far as summoning the boss, I don't know exactly how what, how we feel about that. Uh, there's a I guess there's got to be a summoning. Ooh, chimes of death. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> this will so this will spawn the thing and then attack with invisible arrows. Okay, so there's a crazy thing that we'll have to do. Ooh. Well, let's put a pin in that because it looks to me like our uh, red what is it? Red cedar, red birch, something. 
um, is here and ready for us. So let's make, yes, look at that. That is lovely looking. And uh, we can use that in some of our other, to, to make, to get some of our other achievements tackled. And there we go. And I'm curious as to whether or not this is gonna drop more saplings of the same type of thing. Ooh, sun's going down. Ooh, it looks like maybe not. Oh no, there is one. Yes, perfect. Oh, two of them, sweet. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and replant. So I don't know how much of this we're gonna need, but let's get back to our TP. Okay, so one thing that I really would like to do, uh, because now that we have these, um, it could be really useful, is to create this uh, flame hopper. So, the, or this, yeah, so you can place this under a clay kiln or a stone grill, and it will work as a fire source, but then also work as a hopper. So basically we could put the grill on top of that and then have a chest underneath that, and then have a chest on top, and have a, a, a you know, basically an auto smelter uh, that will work for us. So, I mean, we basically, we would have a furnace that way and I would like to, to have that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try and run in that direction with that achievement. Um, don't think we're necessarily going to go all the way down here, but I would, I'd like to see. So, uh, to make that we need, uh, so we needed some red cedar plank. We need the shadow gem, which I don't think we even knew the name until we picked it up. Charcoal dust, shark tooth, and then the whopper mark two, which is the four slot hopper, which I don't think I actually crafted up. Okay, I don't have uh, the Mark II crafted up because I think we used it in uh, that uh, catcher filter thing. Um, but thankfully, we should be able to make it pretty easily. I'm just ma crafting up some stuff. So we've got, uh, I do have the wooden hopper already. Um, I think I must have made it at some point. And then we can turn that into the wooden hopper uh, with the cobweb up on top and hit it with this. And then to make this, so we need the hopper and then we need charcoal dust. We'll need the red cedar plank, lots of stuff. So uh, yeah, charcoal dust. Oh wait, we've got red cedar, so we can go ahead and just toss that down there and then chop it. There we go, red cedar plank. And that was what, at the top? I think it was at the top, yes, okay. Uh, like that and like that. We need that abyssal stone, which I have right here, thanks to our trip to the dark lands. Then we need a shark tooth and some charcoal dust. So I have some charcoal and we should be able to grind that up here. Oh, nope, there we go. Grind that up here, nice and fast. And that was not what I expected. Why, why, why that? That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, is this maybe one of those ones where you have to do it twice? I suppose we can try, no, okay. So that just gets us charcoal pieces. How do I, let's see, usage. How do I get charcoal dust? Aha, okay, so we actually need a millstone to do that. Ooh, okay, well, put a pin in that for a second, because um, we don't have an achievement, I think, that requires us to build a millstone, but I think we do have an achievement that may require us to build a horsepowered millstone, so maybe we'll do that as well. Wanna see, yes, okay, so we already do have some shark teeth that have been sifted up from the water, so we don't have to go shark hunting. That's great, because it is not shark week today. Okay, so it looks like for the millstone, we actually need the grindstone, and then, yeah, we enhance it to become a millstone. Um, I, th I thought there was a horsepowered one. I seem to be mistaken about that. Um, I'm gonna have to pick these up. Oh, we were so close, um, but we'll get back to it. Um, need to make, I need one slab, which is wonderful. There we go, okay. So, uh, like that, like that, like that, boom. And a slab, and then let's pick this thing up. There we go. And plop that down. And then we should have a millstone. I think we may still need a grindstone separately, but I mean, oh well. Um, okay, so let's plop down the millstone. Okay, that's fancy. And show recipes, cool. How do, what is this, hmm, how does this work? So yeah, this will mill things. Aha, okay, so there is a hand crank which is needed to power early machines. Let's see, horse, there's, is there a horse crank? Horse press? This is, yeah, okay. So there's a, there is a grindstone that is horse powered. There does not seem to be a horse millstone. Yeah, and funnily enough, to get this uh, crank shaft, you need a wooden gear. So th this mod is very cleverly, or this uh, pack is very cleverly designed because it does have you kind of hopping around between a whole bunch of things. To get a gear, we already need to be all the way over here in the tech tree. So well, I, mean, I suppose we could try and craft up a gear now, right? Uh, let's see, what do we need? Yeah, no, we're gonna need buffalo teeth to do that along with the red cedar plank. So it's trying to avoid letting us skip ahead too much. Um, so sure, with that out of the picture and that out of the picture and this, 
currently out of the picture because we need uh, that charcoal dust. That leaves kind of one route, and it is this uh, ast this wheel from Astacor to use on horse carts. So let's go ahead and try that. <laughs> Astacor, uh, cart, right, wheel. There we go. Okay, so I think we need two of these, and it's just planks surrounded by sticks. That should be, <laughs> that I think is something that's in a, more, more aligned with our wheelhouse, our skill set. I don't know. And there we go, we have that one. Now I'm curious, is this, is this highlighting things to like give us an indication of what, because the, the text was purple and I'm not entirely sure what that's an indicator of. Um, okay, let's see if we can make the cart. So we're waiting on, oh, so there is a, there is an achievement to, to unlock the mill. Um, yeah, let's, let's see about the cart. And the cart is here. Okay, so this one, two wheels, a slab, some planks, and two primal chests. So I do believe I have most of those materials gathered up. Okay, and now we have a horse cart. Oh! <laughs> and managed to break that. But, okay, the horse cart is here. Uh, let's try just plopping that down, I guess. Oh, that's, that's very large. And if we... Oh my goodness! Look at that! This is a wonderful storage opportunity. And this is, okay, it is stable. It's not going to go roaming around, I guess. That's good. Oh, but I can I can ride in it. And presumably I can attach the horse to it as well. That's awesome. Let me sleep and we'll give that a shot. Okay, I did manage to break the cart, so that's a start. Let's go ahead and actually hop out of here. Because I'm having, yeah, I'm having difficulties figuring out. I think maybe, maybe, you know, we don't need a, ho a horse cart, a horse pulled cart on the main island. Maybe that's something that's better suited to maybe around here. And then we can at least position ourselves correctly. Okay, so we'll put that there, and then it should be the R key to attach. But that does not seem to be... Wait, your steed will wait for you. Hmm? Is that working then? <gasps> I have to admit, I'm just sort of at a loss here. Am I supposed to... No? So I can mount between these two. <laughs> I can do that. That's not particularly helpful. Um, it, you're supposed to be able to just hit the action key, R, and then have that work. Let's see, is there a mod option here for Astacor config, cart? Okay, so that's, yeah, that, those, that's just configuring what is allowed to do whatever. Um, hmm. And then if we look at the key controls, we go cart, or well, we go, sorry, action, the key is R, um, that's interesting. Okay, so it does say, all right, let's try changing it to something else. Like, yeah, Rav, and just see if that works. Oh, that does work. Okay, so somehow, yeah, it was just, for whatever reason, the default key binding, it was not thrilled about that. So cool, now we're able to have some carts. Uh, oh yeah, so the, <laughs> those were definitely smaller ones. Let's uh, grab some hop off here and I think maybe this means this horse is gonna have to stay put right that would make sense um, I did save some wheat here cuz I want to want to breed these guys up and I suppose I can at least slaughter the ones that are in the wrong pen there we go make us some babies Let's see. Oh. So we did get some uh, some buffalo teeth and some buffalo hide, so we made that achievement. Now it does want us to engage in the spooky boss battle. Who knows if we'll actually do that? But okay, uh, let's <laughs> let's take our cart back. That's awesome. I wonder how wonder the width of the cart. Well, we don't seem to be slowing down, so who knows? Maybe everything is fine. Uh, yeah, cart is still there, and I can sneak click and put stuff in there, so the horse can. <laughs> I guess maybe run off with it. Um, but okay, I did manage to get... Oh yeah, we need to make another one. Gear. Okay, so that is red cedar plank and buffalo teeth, which now we have both of those things. Those are new to... Oh, we don't have... Oh, no, we're fine. Hang on. Uh, plop this down and chop. There we go. Okay. And give me a gear. There we go. We have a gear. So, oh, and we got the advancement quit milling around, too. Uh, what? Oh, well, we did, yeah, we did craft the millstone. Yeah, we've already crafted the millstone. Uh, we need to craft the, the crank for it, though. Uh, mill, the hand crank. So, sticks, uh, cobblestone. Okay, yeah, that's, that's doable. And, magically, this should hopefully work. Let's go ahead and plop it down. Uh, plop that down. There we go, okay. So, we have charcoal in there. Ooh, okay. Oh, I guess I need to continue to do this. Oh, and whatever 
whatever it is, it's done. Oh, and it is it has thrown this out here. <sighs> and that gave us one charcoal dust. So we need to do that again. Oh, the better with mods manual. When did we get that? Oh, look at that. There's a whole manual for that, too. That's pretty neat. All right, well, I do happen to have another charcoal, but I'm annoyed that I have to go through, ooh, crazy gusts of lag. All right, I am, oh, we are too exhausted to turn the darn crank. Oh, okay. Uh, we need, so we need to stay a certain level of not hungry just to even keep this, to even turn this millstone. This seems like a very fun device. And I'm very excited for the opportunity to play with. And yeah, I guess it just seems to pop these things out wherever. So, hmm. Oh, nighttime again. But, okay, with that, we finally should have... <sighs> yes! The hot, uh, the flame-grilled goodness hopper, which we can put under stuff, and it will be amazing. So if I take... <laughs> I don't have an empty chest, do I? So as an example, if I... Uh, let's see, let's put... Let's put this chest down here. It's one of the bad chests, but that's okay. We can put this on top of it. And you see it is smoking on top. I wonder if that has any fire spreading. I should be able to take this. Um, actually, let me make sure I've doused the fire underneath it. There we go. Don't want to lose that. And now we can put a hot grill on here. And in theory, we should be able to cook up, say, this raw buffalo meat, and it should just disappear as soon as it is cooked up. So rather than us having to manually kind of tend to all of this, uh, we should be all set. Yeah, so it just dropped down to two. And if we open this up, obviously I'll expand, ooh, where is, oh, yep, there it is. It's right down there, fantastic. So we have one buffalo meat, two buffalo meat inside our lovely, <laughs> <laughs> uh, awful, awful, awful chest. So, uh, with that <laughs> out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will call that an episode. Oh, man, I need some pants and a helmet. Uh, we will call that an episode. Now, all that's left for me is to say thank you so much for watching. We've made a ton of progress when we look at the tech tree. Um, I, I guess this has got to be the age breaker. Um, we need a melter to begin smelting down ores. Um, and before that, we need a heater. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll get into that and some porcelain and some crazy stuff there. Um, obviously, we still have the horsepower to uh, work out. And then we have potentially a spooky boss battle that we may engage in if we're feeling particularly brave. Um, but <laughs> we will have to tackle all of that in the next episode. I'll probably also do a little bit of uh, moving moving some of our stuff up there. I like the idea of just starting to build a little town over there. But uh, this island is a little bit... Uh, a little bit small and a little bit rustic for uh, all of the cool stuff that we're going to be building going forward. But we'll tackle horsepower and all of the remaining stuff in this age, and who knows, maybe even see the, what is it, age two? Age, I don't know, the next stage. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Always love reading them, and I will see you next time. Cheers.